Heavenly Father, we thank you. We praise your mighty name. Thank you, Father God, for those that are watching on Facebook, on Wallace's platform, or watching on big screen, television. We pray, Father God, that we are equally blessed as those that are here in Jared Church in Mukelau this wonderful morning. We thank you, Father, for the power of your Holy Spirit, the teacher that will teach us this wonderful morning, speaking to us through the power of your word. We give you the glory in Jesus' wonderful name we pray and everyone say amen and amen. You can take your seat in the presence of God this uh, wonderful morning and uh, I will continue with the lesson from last week or two weeks ago, again last week and we will complete this lesson uh, this wonderful morning. Before that, I take this time to welcome you, the viewers of uh, television, my TV channel 4, uh, this morning. We are live from uh, Namukelau, just uh, along the uh, uh, Queens Road here, past Wailukutu, on your way to Lotoka. And uh, we take this time to say, Bulabinaka, all of you that are tuning live on my television this morning. Not forgetting those of you that are tuning uh, on Facebook. Uh, live and also on Wallace platform. It's an honor, it's a privilege to serve you all the way from uh, Jare Church in Mukelau this wonderful morning. Hallelujah. Not forgetting for those of you, yeah, Kenta sa atu sa atu ngay loma, na baka binaki na baka lebo ana turanga, and singa binaka ni ko. We are in the middle, and our lesson will be taken from uh, Exodus chapter 32, and we'll ask uh, Tal Tal Gase uh, Ero Nimbatikawai to read to us in, uh, in English. Then uh, Tal Tal Gase Iswa Malumu to read to us in Fijian. So before we continue with our lesson today, let us listen to the written word this wonderful morning. Exodus chapter 32, 1 to 6. And when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mountain, the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron and said to him, Up, make us gods which shall go before us. For as, for, 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 for as this Moses, the man that brought us out of the land of Egypt, we know not what has become of him. And Moses said unto them, Break off the golden earrings which are in the ears of your wives and your sons and your daughters and bring them to me. And all the people broke off the golden earrings which were in their ears and brought them unto Aaron. And he received them at their hand and fashioned it with a graving tool that he made a molten cuff. And they said, This be the gods, O Israel, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. And when Aaron saw it, he built an altar before it. And Aaron made proclamation and said, Tomorrow is a feast to the Lord. And they rose up early on the morning and offered burnt offering and brought peace offering. And the people sat down to eat and to drink and rose up to play. Ian Yerasa, Redra Tamata, Sam Berni La Sobumai, No Lunibonua, Comosese, Sarasongo Nivata Vironi Nataman, Namana Tamata, Kakaiwa, Moia, Mother Kamavikan, and Akalo, Meluta Kikan, Comosese. Konatamata, Kakauti Kenda, Zaki Maina Ulu Namaina Huno Kuitipita, and the Sasanga Nikila, Seda Bambeka, Saya Lavoa, Asa Kaiwe Ira Koeroni, Mondo Uzuna Tani, Nasau, Kola, Mainandalinganda, Nawatimundo, Kena Luvia Mundo Tangani, Kena Luvia Mundo Yalewa, Kakauta Mai Viao, Ia Koir Natamata Kedanga, Erna Uzuna Tani, Nasau, Kola, Mainandalinganda, Kakauta Vieroni, Asa Toro Kokoya, Mai Vieira, Kazakava, and a veleco cavaca talataca, Cambuliakina, and Dona Luve and Pulmacau, Arasaka, Israeli, Ongona Nomundo Kalo, Cacoti Kemundo Zaki, Mina Bonua, Coitz Pita, Eni Saredongo Keroni, Salacava and Dona Zamazamboni Soro, Metu and Matana, Asa Kailavacayani Queroni, Cavaca, Saia and Songo Nilevu Vechova and Amataka, Arsa So and Amataka, Cavazamborna Soro Kama. Kakota mai na manrali ni vevi na kati arsa tiko songo na tamata mekana kangunu karatu zake merengito. Hallelujah. It was very clear that Aaron created the, the calf. Aaron 
created the altar and Aaron proclaimed. He proclaimed. So all this thing was done by Aaron. After all the following with Moses and they were halfway through. The Bible says when people were asking for Aaron, where is Moses? For this Moses been spending a lot of time with God. Hallelujah. As we walk with God, now we pass the halfway of 2022. We already passed it. And most of the time we've been challenges. The challenge is coming our way every time. Whether we continue to serve God or we create another God. Because it's very easy for you to create your God. God of your work, your house, your car, your achievement, money. Anything that you think that is better in your life every day. You can become your God. So when the teacher of the law asked Jesus, what is the greatest of the Ten Commandments or of the commandment? Then Jesus said, hear O Israel, this is the greatest commandment. Love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind, and with all of your strength. Hallelujah. So our love must be for God. You wake up in the morning. How many chapters you already read this morning before you come to church? Do you pray this morning before you come to church? What about last night? Hallelujah. Anything that you do yesterday or last week that proclaim the God that you serve. How many? Because the world will also uh, share to you what you're supposed to proclaim. How can you proclaim the things that you say, the clothes that you wear, the, the fellowship that you do? All those things are proclamation of the God that you serve. If you love the world, you'll always be in where the people are as of the world. But if you love God, you will also uh, put aside a time for you to serve God in spirit and in truth. Amen. So we are halfway and this is what happened. Eh? The Bible says they came to, uh, to Aaron and said for this Moses we don't know what is happening to him. So Aaron said to them break off the golden earrings which are in the ears of your wife, your sons and your daughters and bring them to me. So he was the one requesting for gold. So he knew exactly what to do. Maybe it was already with him all the time. So when they ask, where is this Moses and where is this God? If you Moses, even a can The Bible says, so all the people broke off the golden earrings which were in their ears and brought them to Aaron. And he received the gold from their hand and he fashioned it with the engraving tool. Okay. When you gave your life to the Lord, you are really hunger for God. Every time you were seen with your Bible in your hand. Every time you talk about the things of God. But as you move along, maybe when you come to the halfway and you think that the very thing that brought you this far it's not good for now. Amen. Like the family table talk that we did yesterday. If some, some of you watch the table talk. We instill in lot 62 Malawi to our children that everything is God. They don't ask things of us. We'll tell them, go to the prayer room. Ask God. Don't ask us because we'll never give it to you. But with our grandchildren... We start to, when they come along, because we are grandfather and we are grandmother, we start to entertain them. The strictness and uh, what we normally do to our children. And I believe that's why they are founded in the word of God. They trust in the word of God. They believe in the word of God. Whatever happens in their life, the school that they are going to, they always trust in God. Praise the Lord. What about us this morning? And the Bible says, and he received the gold from their hand and fastened it with an engraving tool. 
and made a model calf. And, they, and then they said, this is your God. O Israel brought you out of the land of Egypt. So when Aaron saw it, he built an altar before it. So he was the one who built the altar. What altar that you are building at home? It's a big challenge to us today. As appears in the Fiji sun. Uh, I was reading this morning. Um, there's a Ratu from uh, the Tikina of, uh, in the uh, province of Ra. He's uh, putting out a ban on kava drinking. Why? Because for people to go to church. Uh, but it was in the Fiji sun. I just saw it this morning. Because people are, you can build anything around you and you can call it your God. Maybe you don't call it your God, G-O-D, but you, you depend on it. You rely on it. Your happiness is in it. And that's why people are turning away from God and they are seeking the things of this world. Education is good, but it's not God. Money is good, but it's not God. The money that you receive, education that you have, the house that you live in, the car that you drive, cannot heal you from your sickness. Cannot open the doors in front of you. That's why we need to focus on God. And the Bible says, And Aaron made a proclamation and said, Tomorrow is the feast of the Lord. Proclamation is... Uh, uh, sharing, shouting, preaching. And, Mo and uh, Moses was in the mountain while Aaron was shouting and sharing. And it's a challenge to every Christian today. What is the word that you are sharing to the people around you? Amen. Now, the woman and the vital not a gatico, the vital not a gatico mecana woolly, the vital not a gatico nangito, the vital not a gatico nagaka, and the woman and the vital not a gatico. What are we proclaiming? Hallelujah. According to the Bible, Aaron made a proclamation, said, Tomorrow is the feast of the Lord. Then they rose early in the morning, next day, burnt offering, and brought peace offering, and people sat down to eat. And drink and rose up to play. Hallelujah. So today I will complete this lesson. And I will talk about Moses. There are people called the elders. Say with me the elders. The elders are the people that they came and complained. So Moses received them. So there are people that we are in line with the, with the, with the elders. We are looking for blessings. We are not serving God because we want to serve God. We are serving God. We are looking for the answer. We are looking for the blessing. We are looking for something for us. We are not there just to serve God. Amen. Hallelujah. We serve God because it is our duty to serve God. God's, God's problem, hallelujah, is, is to look after us. That's, that's his problem. Because he created us. He said, I will bless you. I will make you uh, fill the earth. And uh, I will look after you. I will protect you. That's, that's his problem. Our problem is to serve him. Hallelujah. It is our duty to serve God. Whether we in the island or whether in Bitilevu or whether in Vanualevu or whether we are overseas. It is our duty to serve God. But the elders, they came, hallelujah, they start to complain to Moses. Hallelujah. They forgot about the walking past of the angel of death. They forgot about the, the walking on the dry land in the Red Sea. They forgot about the manna that fall every day. Even that morning when they come and, uh, and uh, ask Aaron, they just finish with the manna. They ate manna that was given by God. You know, most of the time when you wake up in the morning, you don't realize that God was with you when you were asleep. You go more than two and don't come and look in a room. Amen. The book of Bekanum with them, Sassinia Malanumulans, says a town and Rononi, Ninra, and no more. Could have happened to anyone. How many? But God continued to, to serve, continued to look after us. And that is the elders. And then not only that, and then we have uh, the Joshua calling, the people like Joshua. 
They know exactly what to do. Whatever Moses is doing, he's waiting for Moses. Joshua, the calling of Joshua. Joshua was staying close to Moses. Why? Because Moses was called by God. The blessing was from God. And the blessing was muscle by Moses. So Joshua was always following Moses. Joshua was waiting for Moses. It was about 40 days that they were in the, in the mountain. Everybody in the valley were complaining. They were asking, where is this fella called Moses? But Joshua was sitting there waiting. Respecting and waiting because he knows. The God that was speaking to Moses released them from Egypt. The God was speaking to Moses that supplied the manna every day. The God that was speaking to Moses parted the Red Sea. And the same God is still speaking to Moses. We already talked about that. And the thirdly, it's about Aaron. And last week, uh, last week, yeah, last week and the other week, I was talking about Aaron. Aaron was just, he can't wait to do something against Moses. Even though that he was the elder brother of, of Moses. Hallelujah. But he can't wait to do something against Moses. Because he, he wants to be the priest too. He wants to be the leader. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that is the calling of Aaron. But he overstepped his boundary. And then last week we start on Moses. Hallelujah. Now we will read uh, these Bible verses from Exodus chapter 3, 1 to 6. The calling of Moses. If we can only know the calling of Moses. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Some of us that we are listening this morning, church, worship center, or those of you that are in Jared church today. Hallelujah. If we only know the calling of Moses. And we'll ask the Bible readers to read to us today in Exodus. This is where Moses was called from. Hallelujah. Now Moses was standing to the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the back of the desert and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire from the midst of a bush. So he looked and behold... The bush was burning with fire, but the bush was not consumed. Then Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush does not burn. So when the Lord saw that he turned aside to look, God called to him from the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, here I am. And he said, do not draw near this place. Hallelujah. Take your sandals off your feet, for the place that you stand is holy ground. Moreover, he said, I am the Lord, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. Hallelujah. Ia komosese, savaka nia na sipi nei te loro, na bongona. Kokoya na mbete, mai mitiani. Asa kauta na sipi ki taku ni lekutu. Asa yado ki na ulu ni vanua ni kalou ki orepi. Asa rei rei vua kokoya na ingilo isi chova. Ena ya mea meni mbuka wanga. My loma ni ndo na kau. Asa reitha sa kamatiko na kau. Ena mbuka wanga. Kasa senga ni yabu na kau. Asa kaya komosese. Auna lago baka tiki tiki. Manda meo ndi keba. Na kasa reira indu atani ongo. Se dhaba mbeka sa senga ni kama yabu kina na kau. Ia nisa reitha kuchoba na nisa lago baka tiki tiki me ndi keba. Sanga kadhi wak na kalome. Maina loma ni kau kakaya. Imosese, imosese. Asa kaya kukwaya, reitha kwaya usaka. Asa kaya kukwaya, mokakwa ni toro vole kama ikike. Mulu wata tani ina nomu ibaba, mana yabamu. Ni sangele tambu na tikina kosa tukina. Asa kaya talenga, kwaya unakalou, ni nomu ngase. Nakalou ya parama, nakalou ya isake, ke nakalou ya tsekope. Asa tambu naka na matana komosese, ni sarere ni reitha nakalou. When Moses spoke, the reason why he covered his face... Because all along, the Israelites knew, if you see face to face with God, you will die. That's why he covered his face. 
Only then when he said, I am the God of your father, Abram, Isaac, and Jacob. And Moses hid his face. Then he realized, according to the stories and tradition, if you see God to God, face to face, eyeball to eyeball, you will die. Hallelujah. And that's why he hid his face. I want to, to, uh, to go back to last week as a uh, rewind. The Bible says, when the angel of the Lord appeared to him in the flame of fire in the midst of the bush, so he looked and behold, the bush was burning with fire, but the bush was not consumed. Read with me from here. Two, three. Then Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight. When Moses saw that something is happening, it's something miracle, then he turned aside to look. And then what happened? God called him from the midst of the bush and said, Moses and Moses. You know, God can only call you when you have time for him. God is performing a lot of miracles in our life. Amen. God is performing miracle to your children. None of your children is in your hospital this morning. Isn't that miracle of God? You know, most of the time God is performing miracle, but we never give our attention to God. And that's why God will never call you. And he said, Moses, Moses. Why he called twice? He, he can call three times. Moses, Moses, Moses. Or just call once. Moses, he called twice. He called your mind and he called your body. The calling of God is not just about the things that you know. It's about the things that you do too. Hallelujah. And it's very important when God is speaking to somebody. He's speaking to us because he sees that you are uh, getting the attention of the miracle God is giving to you. Most of us, we have talents from God. Hallelujah. You have gifts from God. The little things that you have from God. Some of us, we do well in our education. Some of us, we do well in our, in our games. Some of us, we do well when we live in the village. We can plant. We can plant cassava. We can plant kumala. Some of us, we, do, uh, we, we, we love fishing and we do it better. Isn't that a gift from God? And until you put aside time and you acknowledge what God is doing in your life, you will never be called. Hallelujah. You can have the talent, you can have the gift, but when you don't acknowledge God, I tell you, that gift and that talent will not come to fruition or in a, a, a prosperity or in abundance or overflow because you are not turning aside. The Bible says, eh? the Bible says, I will now turn aside and see this great sight. Why the bush does not burn. So when the Lord saw he turned aside, then God called him. The calling of God happens when Moses turns aside. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, you have to turn aside. You have to turn to, to what God is doing in your life. God is doing some miraculous things in our life. It's about time that we turn aside. It's about time that we acknowledge. It's about time that we speak on. It's about time that we uh, testify the goodness of God in our life. Praise the Lord. Okay. I already talked on that last week. Now we will continue this week and to finish uh, what is, is there on the screen. Number one is loyalty and commitment to the call. Hallelujah. His loyalty and his commitment to the call. Hallelujah. If you are listening this morning or watching this morning, whether in the Facebook or whether on a television or whether on a Wallace platform, the Bible says... Now when people saw Moses delay coming down from the mountain, the people get together to Aaron and said, come, make us gods that shall go before us. Hallelujah. Make us gods that go before us. Hallelujah. Just because Moses was delaying, he was delaying with who? He was delaying with God. 
When you are delayed with God, regardless of what the people say, let them say things they want to say. Let them talk and speak what they want to say. But you have a time with God. Because your time with God will set your future. Your time with God will open doors. Your time with God is before you and before and behind you, on your side, left and right. Don't worry what the people say. You know, most of the time, we do things because of what people say and because of what people can see. Hallelujah. Kenda na kabatu ng garabi kalo, malita na kaira kaya na tamata, sa kaira na numa na tamata. Sanga, ikong garabi kalo, malita na rubi talo na tuga kina kalo. Nada ba kaya chukubi ko na kalo? What is God telling you? The people, three million people were waiting in the valley, but Moses was with God. Because coming out of Egypt was with God. Not with the elders, not with the people, not with the Israelite. God gave him the power. God gave him the release. God separated the Red Sea. God gave the manna from heaven. And if God is giving all these things, why you should listen to the people that are shouting in the valley? The people that are complaining in the valley. The complainers will always be there. The negative people will always be there. But it's a challenge for us. Are we going to listen to God? Or are we going to spend time with the complainers? With the negative mind people? What are you going to do? The Bible says. His loyalty and commitment to the call of God. He spent so much time up there in the mountain. While people were complaining. Come make us gods that shall go before us. For as for this Moses. The man who brought us up out of the land of Egypt. We do not know what has become of him. Forget about what the people say, the standard of people, the culture of people, the tradition of people. You need to be with God all the time until you are released by God. That's why the, the quiet time is very important in our life. Say with me, quiet time. Tell your neighbor, no mungo na baka no mundi. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Sa rong makawati ko na sir, the singing and the shouting and the celebration were coming from the valley. But Moses was there with God. It's a big challenge to all of us here. We call it Moses calling. When we start in 2002, a lot of people complain. A lot of people point fingers. A lot of negative in the social media. We don't want to know. We don't want, we, we don't want to hear. We could care less what the whole of Fiji was saying. Our concern, what is God is telling us. Amen. Me vuna utakina yangona. Me vuna utakina fundraising. Me vuna utakina mbula samasaba. Me vuna utakina pakandondonu. Amen. Amen. Me kuni baka loma bina kataki na tamata. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So we we need that today. Kanda ngandre wale. No, most of the time, especially in a setup like in a mukelawi, like in a village, we are so concerned what the people will say. Ninda mula tu baba no ya na ndren ndren ni ni lei lo tu baba bina na na ito ke malama. Iko iko via lei lo tu tu baba na turanga. Iko ngai na numa tu kana. Dabar tu na kaya, na dabar tu na kaya, dabar na kaya, dabar tu na kaya. Hallelujah. No wonder God called Moses. Hallelujah. No wonder Moses was called. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. O kila na kalu na mo ni bin tingi tagi kina. We were not qualified to be called by God. We were working with the Air Pacific at that time and God called us. Out of all the people that they go to Bible school, people that they speak well, the problem with us Christian, God call us in our different churches. Eh? 
Sindo ni sokoso kolo te tubutu ngaba ba Italia. Ye na lenga tiko ni desama indambe na no na lotu na kalo. Upon this rock I shall build my church. It's not our church, it's his church. And he said, the gates of hate will never come against his church. Kita sangkai barong otot lu tiko na tawa raka na tamata. Tu da kaba tunga ngor, ngor reke na ibalabala, ngor reke na itobo. Hallelujah. For us not to step on people's toes. And we become a yes man. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, are you a yes man? Praise the Lord. God is good. The calling of Moses is about loyalty to the call of God in our life. And it's a challenge to everyone that we are sitting here. Everyone that you are watching on television. God is calling our life. That we need to rise up and walk with God. Number two. Moses knew the attitude of the Israelites. Moses knew the attitudes. Kila wina kasar tu kao Moses eh. Na kamba di daka tukongo badi ili. Lebu tuku na yalo koukoa. Hallelujah. Let us read together verse 7. Atal talanga se Ron Batikawawi. Can you read your translation please? Two. It's Exodus chapter 32 verse 7. And the Lord said to Moses... Go get down, for your people whom you brought out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. Have corrupted themselves. Every time we turn away from God, every time that something is more important than, than God, we are corrupted. Hallelujah. Every time that something is more important than your serving God, you are corrupted already in your heart. Hallelujah. You are corrupted. Praise the Lord. And that's why we need the Holy Spirit to lead us. The Holy Spirit will tell us what to do. The Holy Spirit will tell us what is number one. The Holy Spirit will tell us what is number two. The Holy Spirit will tell us our priority in this life. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And it is uh, an honor, it's a privilege to continue to share with us what the Lord placed in my heart on this lesson. That we are halfway, right in the middle, 20 years ago. Now, the, the travel was 40 years from Egypt to Canaan, 40 years. So when it's 20, we are halfway. So... Not only that Moses was listening and commit, committing to, to the call of God. He was also, his love for God was unquestionable. Say with me, love for God. Say with me, love for God. Not only that he has loyalty. Not only that he knew, he also have the love for God. Say with me, love for God. When you love God, it's totally different uh, level altogether. That's why Jesus loved the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind, and with all of your strength. Amen. That's why the Israelites said, we want a God in front of us. But they want a God that they see. Because you see your God through your faith. Okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. God listened to our prayer because of our faith, not because of our language. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. So Rabina kata tu merah suka tapi bagai labo. Kalau yang sini sini suka tapi ni kau lengan labo. Tarana suka lala, tarana masih malala, kobat lala, fridge lala. Ok, nak siapa tu ni semua nunu mu nunu mu masuk. Ni kau masuk tunga ini nunu mu lenga. Ni kau masuk kere kere. Ni kau masuk bagai lomba lomba ni ko. Oh, ni kau masuk ni kau bangun bau tan. Kau satu roma nak kalau mu bangun bau tan ni sa bulak kau kaya ni sa dah usah mira ersa bagai sangkari kaya. So God. Listen to our faith, not to our problems. Praise the Lord. 
Sarimi na kana turang eh. Hallelujah. So, the love of God in Moses' life was unquestionable. Amen. While the people were complaining, he never changed the way he served his God. Okay. What about us this morning? How many? What about your love for God? Praise the Lord. Aun do to bolea na bunu ke de ulongo kina meu nungu garbi kalo me kwa kuni bisau. Ka kuni baka to via una nraki. Ka kuni baka to via una matmata. Ka kuni baka to via una ngauna. Because he's the same God. He's a, he's the Alpha. The, he's the Omega. Of course, he's not a God of the church. He's a God of everywhere. His name is Shama. Say with me, Shama. Shout, Shama. 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 That means God is a God in Jire. When you go out to the road, he's already there. You catch a cab, a minibus, or a bus. He's already in the bus. Hallelujah. When people think that our God is the God of the church, that's the reason when they go out of the church, because his name is Shama. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So the rate or the level of worshiping him, non the rule level or ningarabikwaya, me kaku ni baka tauti kuna kara kaya na tamata, kaku ni baka tauna bunogo chiko kina. Sininga na biwekani, iko senga saratuni ngusu ngusu kalu. Mali kuna kila wa rabali wa rabali wa iko rana wekamu. Amen. Rabi wali mai ko bi wali ani. Rabo sada mai ko bambanga talanga ani. Lele na kara kaya mai lebu saraka ko kaya ani. Yeni ko mai chiko bilotu. Amen. No, don't be fool. Our God is Shama. And until and unless that we know that this God is Shama, hallelujah, we'll be careful wherever we go. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Moses love for his God. Moses plead for the people. This is something that we go on a bully kind of to serve God and you made this Christian fellowship. Nada bana, nada bana visa ni sa kusagolo tu kailo ba mai ruo tolu. Nada ba? Nada ba? Willi kango Exodus thirty two ten and eleven. My talent is wrong. Willi ko bata kikwa ruo tolu. Now therefore. Let me alone, that my wrath may burn hot against them, and I may consume them, and I will make of you a great nation. My tosara. Then, then Mo Moses pleaded with the Lord, his God, and said, Lord, why does your wrath burn hot against your people, whom you have brought out of the land of Egypt with great power and with a mighty hand? Hallelujah. While God was ready to pay, Moses was asking God, Lord, why does your wrath burn hot against your people, whom you have brought out? The verse before this, God was telling Moses, your people that you brought out from Egypt are doing something else in the valley. But Moses, in, he said to, to the Lord, Lord, why does your wrath burn hot against your people, whom you have brought out of the land of Egypt with great power and with mighty hand. Hallelujah. When we know God, remember, there are relatives, there are friends, there are uncle, there are aunties, there are mbumbus, there are tutus, there are neighbors. We must have the heart of Moses. Even though he was called by God, he was remembering Turanga. Hallelujah. Na dawa era kaya na tamata. Na kalu e kautsira mai chipita. Kama ibang matira tu ina bono liwa. If we continue to read this. Amen. Because Moses was concerned about these people. You know most of the time when we serve God. We just want us to be blessed. We forgot the people around us. Amen. 
Kau itu kata tuan non rambulai ratu guria samu. Amen ni. Iko lama ini matakan di kuan rusak takin dua kumbu bagai andra, kumbu kambula. Saya kata mat tak kau kongan umur lama ini lotu. Amen ni. Iko ready kaya sengai giling giling matamai. Iko ready kaya sengai bagai nok kamai. Or ready kaya bagai sengai listu mai nandu nampu nasi nandu nampu listu mai kina. Nampu mat tak kau kau bagai doni kau. Iko saya matakan dia bosa. Amen ni. The reason why we are saved so we can look after the people that are not saved. Because for them being saved, God will use the people that they are saved. Praise the Lord. A few days ago, Carol uh, Kirandini, Donga Navali Kanesuva, Carolinda Bitokina. Amen. Carol Kirtu Tikunangoni Mertulogani. Hallelujah. Carolinda Bitoka. Someone you order the texture to Indona, I'll cut chop sui, I cut chop sui. Chicken chop sui. Or to be able to get your EM province. Hallelujah. Run down the talker. Be a cute talk on a cashier in the restaurant. Go. Rosarendona Turanga. Turanga in India. Rosarendona Turanga in Dutuna Q. Well, let's all in Dambe. In Dambe. Hallelujah. How's a ready quay? Ucha. Sandur talo kaya, saya kembali bunga nak kiu, lain tapi talin dona sana. Alhamdulillah. Ungu kira lah, kerusi ini talin dona kah? Ungu kira lah sandur yang rendini, tahu rendah beli shop suwi war gitu make make ikula, salai suli abik kena turangan India ngoh. Aku kelas sana sibit atau makan abik cangkul bulu, ayah, biar seventy five, seventy seven. Alhamdulillah. Mana, waktu kita nak nak kana? Saya nak serangan Indo nama tenir race mana ngau rezit tali nabi lit. Praise Allah. Nak kau biar kait itu? Maybe God use rendini saya to be the hands of God at that time, at that moment. Praise Allah. Bukan bangang ngalu balai lain orang mani lutut. Hallelujah. Bukan bila kau tukar sama, lepas nangau nak kena tamat lutut tu sahaja kerana tamat kau kau. Hallelujah. Bagaimana dulu ikan dah bata ikan dah? Hei many, hei many ni so era dah so tay tahun ini dah kelar mati ni tu ada ukan marijuana ada zero glue dah samunga sa rombu tu ngaya ngaya ngonra salah aku serumu bukan anan oh ya sunukai hei many aku sah sengani biar bosah aku sah bagai puku puku aku rayu bukan andaku hei many aku biar kau ikan dah ni kuah meti kau ikan dah Hallelujah. Naya lo kata tiga bi Moses eh, nona kadi bi kau nak kalu. No wonder God called Moses. Hallelujah. The elders that they came to Aaron, nobody called them from Egypt. They were in Egypt, but God called Moses in Midian. Lebu nangga serata kau tu nalo tu mai cipitan. Di nere tiga bi nombor bumbula. Ura tak kau serata nga. The rituals of the Jewish people. They do everything every day, every Sabbath. And why God called Moses in Midian? Hallelujah. You can be sitting here, so many people around Namukelau, so many people around Walukutu area and Bilo Visari area, and you are sitting here. Maybe God, call, God is calling you so you can become a hand and a voice to the people to know the God that we serve. Remember, when we finish this life, there is no other opportunity for you to to born again. How many? You live in a house that is three stories. You live in a bitu house or a sow house. When you die, six feet long and six feet under. Vale mboloko se vale sima. Vale kava se korende tiku na hotela. Una ngao matikina. Gele. Katudua. Katunduan nak kena balabu, katunduan nak kena titobu. Praise the Lord. So we have to understand that we are walking this life once. Kapa tak kau bukan dua? Kami kau tukar sama bukan dua. Hallelujah. So when you are on the stage, you must do it well. Hallelujah. Nah, serabut itu ada na televisyen na nama. Kena songgol ya bunyi, bukan nak numit itu nama. Sama itu apa nama? Marah membalik nara nanti. Hei mana? Nak kena itu tu tu gigi. Talno tak kena? Marah maya lobi nak? Eh, lebih lu tak itu ena? Ena lotu le bu na na Anglican sena Church of England. Nono itu tu bukan lotu. Hei mana? Hei mana? Ena sangat talin dona ngono nama iran nanti talikina. Kena balik kau sangkar apa nak sarangan nonita? Biar bunen tampetokina level itu kina. Wadah bukendaru. 
na lebo lo kenda rutiko kina otiko mai ndel nebesi otiko mai ngawia otiko mai matatasi otiko na muke lau lebo lo daba kenda ru ngaraba tukina no nderitabi because there will be no other time that will come again to serve this god amen amen buki biko to ka samwe lebo tiko na no mumis lebo tiko na no muyali lebo tiko na ulumbale praise the lord praise the lord Ningo no cosa le indabo kina ne mulumulu na no motigo se ngata lindo na no mokadi bele no to sell group to my bully items se ngata le se ngata le bagandoa sa otinga ngo sa kwaya praise the lord kasa ba gaita bikina na linga mudaba kita kasare na no muingu se ngani buku se ngani kilaka se ngani dagadaka eta ba kina mulumulu nga inda sala ko tiko kina Mia sana ndo asini kile tali kina vita mani kina viti nani sini kile mana kina viwatini sini kilai When you walk past the door called death there is no family there is no husband and wife there is no daddy and mommy no when we go through that door is about god and his people Praise the Lord So when you prepare your life remember you prepare your life here Hundredfold here, but remember, eternal on the other side. Praise the Lord. Okay, Exodus chapter thirty-two. My tell us, Aaron. So it was as soon as he came near the camp that he saw the calf and the dancing. So Moses' anger became hot, and he cast the tablets out of his hands and broke them at the foot of the mountain. And he took the calf which they have made. burnt it in the fire and ground it to powder and he scattered it on the water and made the children of Israel drink it oh hallelujah praise the lord say with me dancing, dancing. say it loud dancing in the church some people they condemn dancing this one dancing here there's two dancing in the bible there's a dancing when the victory of god nothing in front of them there's one dancing here the calf in front of them Areda e rua na meke da katiko ibe na buru ni songoni endua na meke takitiko ni sadam ben bula mai bei na wasanda mundamu and Miriam and all the women of Israelites they were dancing say to me dancing they were praising who they were praising God they were praising who they were praising who yeah this is another dancing and they were praising the calf Hallelujah. So for those of you that watch on television that you sometimes question the dancing there's two dancing. One dancing when the calf is in front, idol is in front, the bull macau is in front and one dancing when they dance with praise and worship because what God has done in their life. So there's two dancing. It's good that we can touch on the dancing again. that he saw Moses saw the calf and the dancing he threw away the calf na tabe be ka Moses ke ndo na me ke me da ka be choba bolo ko e nga tiko ika na ngone mata ni me ke ne miriama se da ba ngai karu ni me ke ngai toro ko ko na kara me ke tiko ngai buru buru la ka ba mata ila la me pauta so for those of you that uh, maybe that have uh, a double mind on the dancing when we worship god there is two types of the dancing and moses was present in both dancing one he approved and the other one he took the what they were dancing to and broke it into pieces until it becomes powder hallelujah praise the name of jesus Your love for God, Moses' love for God was different. We'll ask that Talagasi so to read Exodus chapter thirty-two, verse nineteen and twenty. Ia ni sa torbole ka kina itigo tigo sangai kune na lumi ni pulumakau kena mek a sa wanga mai na zumri Moses a sambuta tanelinga na navatura ramba kaborola ka eruku ni ulu ni vanua a sa toro koko ya na lumi ni pulumakau erada kava kava kama enambuka wanga kava kama murum murum be meta ka. kabaka mi mirika kina na wai kabangu nubi ire kina na israel haleluya do kuni meketa ga mai mai hunu hunu todo ko hunu todo ko hunu todo ko na kalogu mdo garabatiko haleluya le buna kanta sabangu nubotiko le buna kanta sabangu nubotiko dendo ayana ka eta kabo mosesi 
Then he took the calf which they had made, burned it into the fire, and ground it to powder. And he scattered it on the water and made the children of Israelite drink it. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sounds familiar in Fiji today? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We need a Moses. We need a Joshua. We need the call of God in our life. And we must know what to do in every situation. Every time that we come before God. We know we have a responsibility. We know we have a duty. We know we do something to praise this God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tough and strong leadership. We need tough and strong leadership. Will you come Exodus 32, 27 and 28. Rua Hallelujah. Rua Tolu. And he said to them, Thus said Israel, let every man put his sword on his side. And go in and out of from the entrance to entrance throughout the camp. And let every man kill his brother, every man his companion, and every man his neighbor. So the sons of Levi did according to the word of Moses. And about 3,000 men of the people fell that day. 3,000 people were killed because they were worshipping Baal. How many? Tunokoya. You gonna tangane tadimu. Can you not tadimu is in Garbatuna Kalungo? Sally make it to a Pumacau Matiqua. That's what he said. And I remember Jesus said, I come to bring sword so the son can come against his father, the son in law against his father in law. I bring division. I don't bring peace, I bring division. Because the peace that I give, the world cannot give. Praise the Lord. So we need the tough and strong leadership in the church today. We need tough and strong leadership in the Vanua today. We need tough and strong leadership in the government today. For the nation to rise to the level of God, we need tough leadership. We need strong leadership like Moses. Praise the Lord. Sorry, we're not going to turn. You know, when we receive tough leadership, when we need, we need the tough preaching to make us a refined goal. We are refined by the word of God. There's nothing else can refine us. Only the word of God. Hallelujah. Duri wata kia au ni na duri weekenda na share ni ni wakata dambo menda maru takna kina wakabimina takina na kalu ena bukan ina na bosa erong rong weekenda.